Hey YouTube, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Des, and I'm starting my first weekend in Baton Rouge vlog today. This is not even first weekend because I work Saturday to Tuesday, so technically it's just my three off days. My three off days of work: Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Technically, we're just gonna call it first weekend in Baton Rouge. Today is Wednesday, and I got invited to Bible study by him. So, we all going to go to Bible study today. Literally, I woke up at like 4 o'clock, 4.30. Because after work, I'd be so tired. I'm not going to lie. I just got up, took a shower, brushed my teeth, did everything I need to do. Now, we're about to get dressed for Bible study. I'm about to put some jeans on, I believe. And just throw on a t-shirt. I don't want to wear no, no jeans with no, a lot of holes in it, though. I think I can fit these. Yeah, I'm about to throw these jeans on and I got to shuffle through these bags and find a t-shirt to throw on, child. Yeah, I'll come back to y'all once I'm dressed and ready for Bible study. So I just threw on a red shirt and some jeans. And I ain't about to do nothing to my hat, child. Since I got these braids, I literally have not threw an edge on them or nothing, like... I think the only thing I did was for the baby shower. I mean, for the gender reveal. This what I threw on. So mid ones, jeans, and red shirt. Call it that. Now I'm about to run out the house. I have to go get gas before I make it to Bible study. So I just made it in the car and it's raining outside. I didn't even know, child. That's how I souped up, cooped up in the bed I was. Cause I would have never known. But yeah, I ain't gonna stop at the gas station. I'm gonna go straight to Bible study. And then after that, I'm gonna go to the gas station because I am on 57 miles to E. But it's only six, I think like six point something miles away, six, seven miles away. So I'll be straight. I just get gas after. I honestly, uh, I honestly can just drive all the way back home if I wanted to. But I ain't got time risking nothing. Nothing. So we're going to go to the gas station after church. I asked the girls if uh, we was doing anything after church. And they said they was going home. So I ain't bringing nothing extra with me. So they been not trying to make no type of plans after the fact. Because I ain't bring nothing. All I got is me and my phone. And y'all. So yeah, I guess when I go home, I'm going to clean up, organize, and order stuff that I need for my house. I already ordered my bed, and I believe it comes Friday. I believe. Um, I still need to order some stuff off of uh, Amazon for the living room, living room, and my bathroom. And then, what else I gotta do? Oh, and I'm waiting on my IKEA desk. It was supposed to be delivered on Tuesday, this Tuesday, yesterday. But it's time about it's not coming to October 1st now. And I wanted to have my nail room done now so I could start taking clients now and start like really promoting my business. But whatever. I just pulled up to church and we about to go in. I parked right next to him. I spotted her car at the whole parking lot. I just knew that was my girl. But I think we went on Destiny now. But yeah, it's currently 6.59. I think church starts at 7. So I'll let y'all know how it go after. It's currently 8.53 and we just got out of, um, ugh. we just got out of Bible study. And baby, this Bible study was lit. So if Wednesday service, Bible study service is like this, I can only imagine what sunday gonna look like i work on sunday so i would have to come after work well i work saturday night going into sunday so i would have to come after work but i think i'm gonna try and come this sunday at least at least i enjoyed the service i will be back i will be back but i'm hungry and i don't know what, to, what i should eat i'm thinking about stopping at walmart or like going to a grocery store real quick i don't know what's open for real but I need to get something like 
nachos, spaghetti, or tacos. I might do spaghetti because all I would have to buy is ground beef and tomato sauce and some garlic bread. So I'm thinking that and that can hold me over a couple days so I ain't got to cook. Yeah, so I think I'm about to run to the stove and go get stuff for, stuff for spaghetti and then we're going to cook tonight. I just pulled up to the gas station. About to put some gas in my car. I'm going ahead and fill this thing up. So I ain't got to come back for another two weeks. The pump's on for what? Why this pump don't work? I gotta do it again. Go back right here on one damn work. Just give me my money. Just give me my money. Just give me my money. I talk a lot of shit. He like who you think you is. Nigga, not your bitch. Broken. My mama told me to stop putting 93 gas in my uh, gas tank, so we're putting 87. If something happens to my car, I am blaming my stepdad and my mom. Because wife shot tell me to switch. I've been doing 93 for so long. We about to go into Walmart after this and go get stuff for spaghetti. Because you know your girl loves spaghetti. Yes, ma'am. Stop trying to connect to Amazon Wi-Fi. Why is y'all shit even that strong? He like, who you think you is, nigga? Not your bitch. Bro, gay. We in Walmart now. About to get my smaller groceries. I might end up getting other stuff, too. Well, I should get some ice cream. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to get more than what I said I was coming to get. It be so funny every time I come to a Walmart in Louisiana, they got a whole liquor store in the Walmart. Like, that's so hilarious to me. I don't know why. But I'm about to get at least one bottle of wine because all my wine is in Houston. I don't know what I'm about to get. They got everything, but I don't know. And as y'all can see, I'm definitely doing a little more than what I said I was going to do. I said I was coming in for tomato sauce and... Tomato sauce and garlic bread, baby. We making groceries now. I ain't going home for two weeks, so hey, I'm just gonna get stuff while I can. So I ended up getting 21 items for like $116. So I ain't do too bad. Yeah, So I feel like out of every store run, you got to have something that you can snack on. So we're about to taste this popsicle. Mmm. Golly. Sour. But it's good. Please don't hit my car. No, people don't know how to drive. But I got gas. I got groceries. Now we're about to go home and cook. It's 10 on 5. Yeah, I just made it home. I'm about to go get my wagon and go get all my groceries out the car. But... Why did I literally just think about it? I can't even cook no damn spaghetti. <laughs> because they have yet to bring the damn drip pans. Can I just cook like regular? Can I sit this in here and just cook on top of that? With no drip pan? They need to bring me my shit, bro. How am I about to cook? They made a whole damn grocery run. And they ain't even about to be able to eat. Ain't that some shit. But I'm about to go get these groceries out the car. It's cold as hell in this house. God dang, this air conditioning work. Luckily, I didn't make other groceries because I bought something. Bought something that don't need the stove. So, I'm probably just going to end up eating a chicken sandwich. Ooh, Rocky. And I got pizza. So, I can always use the oven. Snacks for work. The ice cream wasted everywhere. My ice cream wasted. Oh wow. I should just put that in the front with me. Now I gotta clean the inside of this damn wagon. Got ice cream in it. Damn! I'm just 
breaking everything, bro. Literally, just broke the salsa that I just bought. It's giving I need to go to sleep and try again tomorrow. Cause what the fuck? So I'm about to go ahead and make me spicy chicken sandwich. <clears throat> I'm about to put this in the air fryer while I take right here at the walk to go use the restroom. I think I'm gonna make it too. Actually, before I take Rocky out, I got these cookies and cream cupcakes. And I'm about to try one. I feel like I had these before, but I don't know, because I really don't eat sweets. But it looks good. And I got a whole bunch of cookies and cream stuff. Cause I also got these pocky, pokey, whatever cookies and cream sticks. I'm guessing this. Oh, it's say a biscuit stick covered in cookies and cream covering. It's so funny. I don't eat sweets for real, and I'm I buy them all this stuff. That's why you don't go shopping while you're hungry. What is going on? Oh, it's just a little brownie with little cookies and cream topping. And it's funny, I don't even like chocolate. <laughs> like, I eat chocolate like this much. But he don't. But this good. I probably eat like one of these a day. Yeah, only one a day. Cause it's gonna make my teeth hurt. And now we about to try one of these. But that's good. They ain't nothing but a brownie with some type of cream topping. With cream, they ain't with cream. Some type of cream topping, I don't know. This would just look like. I think I like the biscuit stick that is on, but the white chocolate covering ain't nothing. It's a, like a Hershey's cookies and cream thing melted. That really tastes like, but it's like, I don't, I don't care for that. I should have left that at the stove. Mm. So I'm about to go ahead and toast me some bread for my chicken sandwich. Cause the patties is almost done. I always toast my bread because it's regular, regular butter bread. So I just go ahead and toast that. I'm ready to take these braids on my head. I'm ready to feel my real hair. Me and we do not, you know, go together real bad like it do for a lot of y'all. No shade, no tea. But yeah, I can't keep my hair in longer than like two weeks for real. Wigs can only stay for like two days, a week max, if I'm pushing it, if I really got shit to do. But braids, I really be wanting them like a week and a half, and then after they start getting scruffy like this, it's really time to go. My mama say I'm supposed to keep wearing them until my scalp not showing, basically, like to all my hair poking out, but I don't like that. That look is ugly. So after both my balloons get toasted, I usually put uh, mayonnaise on them, but I ain't got no mayonnaise and I forgot to get some when I was at the store. So we're just gonna do ketchup and lettuce. I always throw the first layer of lettuce in the trash. And a thing about me is, if it's on one side of the bread, it needs to be on the other side too. I always put everything on both sides of the bread. I don't know where I got that from, where that habit came from, but yeah, I don't put that. 
Yeah, I remember this one time in college when I got blacked out drunk and nobody seemed to know. Nobody seemed to notice and I made chicken sandwiches for everybody. Or I feel like I made it for me first and then somebody asked for mine and I'm drunk so I gave it to them. So then I made me another one. Somebody else asked. It had to be something like that because the next morning we woke up, it was literally bread everywhere. I had bread in the air fryer, bread in the toaster, bread on the stove, bread in the stove, bread in the bed. Like, why was there so much bread everywhere? Was I just so drunk and so many people asking me that I was losing my bread <laughs> and losing my damn mind? But, yeah, I found one fully made chicken sandwich, perfectly made chicken sandwich on the stove. And then I'm guessing the other one had already got eight. But that was funny. That I really wish I was on YouTube then. Because child, we used to have time. But after you put the lettuce, you just put the chicken pan on. And then we got chicken sandwich. Nothing to it. What to do with. I should have made me some tater tots and some fries or something. No, what I'm but that's what we eat for dinner since my stove is not ready to be getting cooked on. I'm going up to the office first thing in the morning and I'm going to ask them like, what's the hold up? Like, I've been putting service requests in. Y'all been knew I needed them. So bring my stuff. I'm already paying rent. I need to be cooked. Because they got to bring me the drip pans for my stove and they got to bring me that long bar to go in my oven. Uh, that go in my uh, closet, my master closet, so I can finish hanging up my clothes. Then I need to find somebody to uh, hang my TVs up on the wall because that needs to be done ASAP. Now I'm about to just go lay in the bed and watch TV on my iPad. I may or may not come back and do something else with y'all, but if I don't, then good night. Good morning, YouTube. Last night, I definitely went to sleep after eating my food. Like, I literally was falling asleep while eating my food. Well, getting towards the end of my food. And Rocky was watching me the whole entire time. Then I woke up to her in my bed. Like, girl, go on about your business. It's currently 9.51 a.m. I literally been up since, like, 8 this morning. But I just been laying in the bed. But now Rocky keep crying, so we about to go ahead and take her outside. Because, child. You're such a crybaby. I'll take her outside and I'm going to come back in and eat me a bowl of cereal. And then figure out what I'm about to do with my life. Today I go on a date with my new friend, Ash. And we're supposed to be going bowling at like 8, I think. So, I need to figure out something to do. It's a lot, to, a lot of stuff to do in my house, honestly. But I can't really do anything until my Amazon packages come. Rocky, get out of my closet. So once my Amazon packages come, then I really can, you know, get the ball rolling and get stuff done. I just text him to see if she can have Ib come hang up my TVs or, like, whenever he available to hang up my TVs because I need that done, like, ASAP. But I'm going to have to order some new screws because the screws that was in my mounts before are all stripped. I don't know what my father did, but they all stripped. You want to go outside and touch grass, don't you? So, Rocky got a dog park here. So, now she's able to be let off the leash while she go use the restroom. She go run around. And which she really don't run around. She just go use the restroom and come right back to me. But, I mean, she got the option to. So, I'm about to go, go ahead and make me some cereal. Oh, right, right. I actually rarely ever eat cereal, but some days I just crave cereal, so we're going to eat these Captain Crunch. I was going to get the Oops All Berries, but they really be making my teeth hurt, so I have to opt for this. Do 
Do y'all put cereal or milk first? Comment down below. Because I definitely do cereal than milk. I actually haven't had Captain Crunch in years. I am lying. Because I don't eat cereal. But when I pick up cereal, I always get Fruity Pebbles, Frosted Flakes, and Lucky Charms. And I just started picking up Fruit Loops. Cold. I'm currently wondering if I should go to work because they just put out shifts and I can do 1230 to 4 p.m. I ain't got nothing else to do, so I should go make money, but I should enjoy my off day. Ugh, being grown is so overrated. So I ain't literally did nothing I said I was going to do today, but... I'm about to get dressed and get ready for whatever me and Ash about to do. Because we was going bowling, but we're not going bowling no more. Now we're about to go to Southern and go to this talent show slash pageant thing. And then after that, we're going out for drinks. So I'm about to take a shower and get dressed for that. I was going to take my hair out, but I don't think I'm going to do that no more. I was, but maybe tomorrow. Because I literally ain't did nothing I was supposed to do. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and take a shower. And then we're about to figure out what we're going to wear. Because half my clothes is still put up in a bag. Because the damn apartment people ain't brought me the pole. They go in my closet. I'm still waiting on that. So I got to shuffle through these bags to try and find some clothes. And yeah. So this is what I'm wearing. Y'all know me. Something simple. Wanna say hey to the block? Hi. <laughs> Wanna say hey to the block? Wanna say hey? None of this shit fucks me up. Michael's Hard Lemonade is good. Oh, maybe I should get a strawberry. Wait, how much a club to? But I think I am low key on that weight. Eight percent. Cause that's I, ten, ain't it? Yeah, I think I am low key on that I think you are too. You talking about you threw up off this shit? What's wrong with you? We at the gas station getting um. Club sales. I think I'm gonna get a pink lemonade. Pink lemonade, cause last time I had sex on the beach or something, it was cool, but it was not all that. Pink lemonade for the win. This girl, this girl got me on Southern campus. Y'all know I go to ground, went to ground, graduated, and we don't do Southern. We don't do Southern. <laughs> We just snuck out the event to come drink. <laughs> this is very How alcoholic. Feel? Huh? How you feel? I'm straight. I'm gonna need another two, three. Damn. Damn. I mean, let me go. Damn. Damn. They gonna have Damn. <laughs> Girl, I ain't gonna say I'm an alcoholic, but I guess that I don't play. You don't play. I don't play. I guess down. I don't play. That shit gone. Yes. What you doing? I'm not babysitting. Babysitting? No, I'm You're finna, bullshitting. I'm finna ah. get down. That shit gone. All right. All right now. It's because you're using that fucking straw. Trying to be cutesy and shit. We ain't trying to be cutesy in the mirror. Drink. Motherfucker, drink. Girl, fuck you. <laughs> Then you got me on the camera, so I gotta drink like this. But it's gonna think I'm, I'm weak or some shit. She puts this on. She nearing the end, y'all. She's nearing. She's sipping her way to the end. That shit don't sound empty. That shit ain't empty. That shit is empty for the sake of the camera. What that? <laughs> Talk about putting a sake of the camera. Hell no. You drink that shit. shit. Nah, you ain't gotta drink it. It's okay. Okay, now we get back into the event. Come on. Lightweight. I made it back home. And it was cool the night. I'm not gonna y'all right. I look cool the time. I finished my whole club tail and had two lemon drops. And now we at home chilling. 
I ain't got shit else to do. So I guess I'm about to go edit some content or something. I don't know. I guess we'll call it a night. Good morning, YouTube. Today is Friday, September 27th. It's currently 12 p.m. And today we got a little busy day. A little smidget of a bitchy. <laughs> a little busy day. I get my TVs hung up today. My bed just came in the mail. My ottoman comes today. Wallpaper, racks that I'm hanging up on the wall. Like literally everything comes today. Right now I'm about to eat breakfast. Something in here. I'm about to find something here to eat. Cause I ain't got much, but I'm about to find something to eat. Then I'm about to go to Lowe's to go get these screws for my TV mount. And then I need to go to the post office to pick up this package that uh, I had to reschedule. My TVs don't get mounted till 4 o'clock. That's when the dude say he was going to come. And he's not even charging me, but I'm going to pay him because what I look like. I'm going to at least pay him like 50 to to $100 something. Got to give him something. I'm about to eat something slight. I'm probably about to just eat these noodles that I found and gone by my day. Because y'all know I don't be eating. I eat like once a day every day. So I'm going to eat today. We're going to start off eating today. Just because I know I got stuff to do. My noodles exploded. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Do y'all like chicken, beef, or shrimp? Because I'm a shrimp and beef girl. I don't like chicken noodles. I feel like you only need to eat chicken noodles when you're sick. Ugh. Season it up a little. And we about to be out of the Every time I season my noodles, I use garlic and herb, some tony saturated. I use this tony saturated because it's supposedly a little hotter than the regular. <clears throat> and Louisiana hot sauce. But honestly, I'm starting not to like Louisiana hot sauce because I feel like they watering it down too much. Like, it's not even nearly as spicy as it used to be. It's super runny. Like, I don't know. I could be tripping, but I think they doing something to the formula because it's not the same. So, actually, I'm about to head to the UPS office first. UPS office. I'm about to head to the post. I'm about to head to the post office first because it's only ten minutes away, and my package been sitting up there for like two days, so we're just gonna head there. And it's definitely hotter than I expected it to be, cause yesterday it was a little chilly, but I just walked outside and it's hot as hell, and I got on a damn long sleeve and tights like it's supposed to be fall for real, but it ain't. It's still something outside for real. I just pulled up to the post office. The tent on these windows make it look like it's closed. I ain't lying. I secured the package. Where's my knife? I don't know where my knife at, but I just found it yesterday. And it's all of a sudden missing again. But if I don't love nothing else, I love opening some packages. I ain't lying. Perfume, some perfume from the TikTok shop. It's called Bad Girl. Not this good girl dupe. I know that's right. <laughs> it actually smells good. I don't want to spray it on me though. It actually smells good. This really like a date night scent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we go to Lowe's.
So I already know what kind of screws I need. So hopefully I can just find somebody that can help me find it real fast. Cause I don't want to be in here long. I see that they do glass cutting too. And I need some glass cut for my nail disc. So I need to take a picture of this cause I'm gonna come back and give me some glass. Mm. I don't remember what my measurements are to my desk, so I gotta go look it up. Also, I found the screws, but shit, there's so many damn screws. I don't even know what is what. This is too much. I kinda wanna give me a key, a spare key. Well, really, it's gonna be my main key, but a spare key, cause my apartment only came with one key. And I'm thinking I want this one because this is cute. And I used to be a Hello Kitty fan, but they also got this one. They got this one, but it's pink. I ain't a pink girl. So I think I'm going to get this one. This one is cute. Or should I get this one because I'm a dog mom? So now it's this or this. But I think I'm gonna get the Hello Kitty one. That's real cute. This was a cheap and successful little store run. I got eight bolts and a key made for $16. That was cheap. Now your girl got a Hello Kitty key. <laughs> you can't mess with me. I'm back. I'm back in high school. I ain't lying. I used to stay with character keys. Actually, look, I still got them. <laughs> we got Mickey Mouse, Frozen, and what's this? Oh, Finding Nemo with Dory on it. And then I still got some at home. I had Princess and the Frog, Hello Kitty, and I miss this. I think like Tinkerbell. I stay. I stay with a character key. Character. Char character key I stay with one but it's so cute now I can leave the other one at home or give it to somebody when I get a man or give it to one of my friends cause I ain't got no man <laughs> hello kitty and Mickey Mouse oh I need to go home my package is getting delivered and stuff Oh, all of them got delivered. Let me take my ass home. Good thing I'm on 10 minutes away. Actually, seven minutes. Just pulled up to the house. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just almost twisted my ankle. <laughs> Look at all those packages. Now I'm about to drag all these packages in. I got this concrete wallpaper for my room. Then we got over the door organizers for the pantry and for my bathroom. And I'm guessing this is my fan. Because I told y'all I ain't got no fan. 
this must be my ottoman, but if this busted up like this, I'm more than likely gonna have to return it because I feel like something gonna be missing. And I'm gonna be mad. Well, I don't, it don't even look like everything in unless it's all one piece that I just need. I don't know. But now I'm about to take this trash to the trash can and all these boxes to the trash can because it's making my house look like who did it and why <gasps> and i don't play that so let's go ahead and get these boxes up out of here go back no no don't go outside just came in here and said he about to bring my drip pans for my stove so that means your girl can cook her some spaghetti <laughs> so if i cook spaghetti now then i won't be eating i mean i won't have to cook for the rest of the week probably because i work the next four days so i'm about to put together this over the door organizer so i can put this stuff in my uh restroom up and the stuff that's in my pantry like JT coming, JT coming, JT, JT, JT coming. Oh, this is going to be a little simple process. together already. This one's a little loose. I'm gonna tighten it up. I don't even know if this gonna work for real. Oh, this might not work in here. Maybe I can use the washer. So, pantry was a fail. I guess we're just gonna go ahead and take it into the bathroom. Mm -hmm. y'all when I get this together because it's about to piss me off so I see the problem this side is bent in and this side is straight that's why it's giving me a hard time trying to go in so I'm just gonna force them in because I never got time so now I'm about to move most of all of the stuff that's under here and put it on the shelf in there because I got space
So I was able to get quite a few things on there. Now I gotta go find the bucket I got that got body wash and stuff like that because my body wash is going down here. And then I'm gonna put toilet paper under the cabinet. All my hot tools is going in now. And then I think that's it. I still got some more stuff in these bins, but I have an organizer thing that goes for half of this stuff and then the other half go in the nail room bathroom. So I'm putting on my body washes right here. I mean, yes, they can fit. Now I gotta put all these cleaning supplies up. I'm just gonna put them in the kitchen under the cabinet and all the deodorant. I'm gonna put half of them in my bathroom and the other half in the nail bathroom, which is the guest bathroom. So this is basically a full cleaning supply restock. <laughs> got everything you ever need. The reason why I got so much stuff is because I used to coupon, but I don't no more. Mostly because I already got too much stuff, so there's no need to keep couponing if I ain't really got no space for it. Y'all, why did I literally just find another bucket of dishes? Like, how can one person have so many dishes? Just one person. One. I ain't got nowhere to put this stuff. Everything is full already. <laughs> like, everything is full. I'm about to have to make space. I'm not going to lie. I can put a little stuff on the top shelf, but for the most part, everything full. I don't know where this stuff is going. What is going on? I'm about to have to move these seasonings or something. Something about to have to shake. I don't know. So I'm actually about to throw all these bowls and plates and tops in the trash because they either don't have a match or they look like dingy dirty or I just don't need them because I filled up all the space. So everything is filled. Full to the top. All that's going in the trash and yeah, I'm almost basically done. So I'm actually about to run the lows because I got the wrong size screws. My daddy told me to get one half, but I should have got one fourth. So I'm about to run to Lowe's. Look at his 10 minutes away. I'm just gonna leave him in the house while he mount the other TV that he can mount right now. I had to end up getting two types of screws because I don't feel like coming back if they the wrong size. So I just got two different sizes. Uh, and 12, 12 of each size. So hopefully one of them work or both of them work. I don't know. Well, we headed home now. We, we ain't rushing, but we rushing. We got three TVs to mount and I still got to get ready for a pajama party. <laughs> what is my life? So he had to leave to go get a stud finder because he wasn't finding a stud in the wall. So I think I'm about to put my pole up. Cause why not? I'm about to put the strip pole up. So we can get it cracking in here. Still looking too high. And I'm gonna put that piece on there. Let me go get my stool. Move it down anyway. What? How about you? Hold the mount. Move the mount down. Mm -hmm. So you wanna try it first and then see? We can hold it up to see. 
I thought you were still like that. No, I can't. I can't move it because of uh, the, what a bracket sit on the other TV or the whole TV. Sorry. I'm scared. I ain't gonna hold you. Come on. Oh. What do I do? I don't even know. Honestly. Man, let me know. This measure it and see. Yeah. I think you can, can measure it. You can measure it and see. I'm after uh Destiny. It's not that heavy. Yeah. Destiny. Destiny. I ain't gonna hold you. You a girl. But so holding it right here girl, is light, but holding it up here, my TV was even heavy, bro. And my TV is not even half the size. I think people are going to be able to do it. I, I am. Up. I am. Okay. You wouldn't say see my last apartment. I picked it up with my father. 17. I had to pick it up and put it out. Both times. It's not that heavy. And my little brother this big. He can pick it up. Well, shit, mm. My arms is weak. What's 18 minus 38? What's 18, 18 minus 38? 18. 18 minus 38. 18 minus 38. 20. It's not going to work? Don't want to try it? Let me just, let me go. Let me, in this, the room. let me, um, remove. Let me just move it all the way down because we know where stud is. Let me just move it all the way down to where, like, it can't be moved down anymore. You don't want to measure it just to see? No, -uh, I already know. <laughs> Y'all, right this is a task. Hey, this is a real task right here. And I need to switch hands. This is not my strong hand. Yeah. Well, don't give me that. Hold it. Yeah. Like a switch. Raise it. Tell me when to go. Raise. Woo! Yeah, that definitely wouldn't have worked at first. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Okay. It's on there? Yeah. God damn, this TV big. <laughs> This is A now. This Daddy, is A. This is Daddy, A. Daddy, bro. I knew it. A. I told you I said. Yeah. We, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pushing it. Yeah, this place this, is pushing it. Can you push it to the wall? I'm scared. Why so not? We gotta, we gotta uh, put screws on it. Just come hold the TV. Oh, it's not on there? It mm -hmm. is, but it's not. I gotta find screws. Where does it go to? Ooh. Who got the screws on there? Is it the silver screw? Uh, it's like, uh, it's like these. Because the mounts and the studs was giving us such a hard time, we took longer than expected. I don't think we finished to about 10 or something. But it wasn't his fault. It was the way they got my apartment set up. It's weird. So, um, I ended up missing the pajama party. So, instead, I'm just going to go sleep with my friend. And that's how we're going to end this weekend. We gon' call this a wrap. It's a wrap for the weekend. Mm -hmm.